Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing how to hopefully resolve issues you might have with Windows 10 being stuck in safe mode and you might not be able to actually boot into your system. Now the setup for this tutorial is basically if you're trying to get into safe mode by changing the MS config settings or by another means and you try to get into safe mode and unfortunately Windows is not able to get into it you might be stuck in an infinite loop of Windows trying to boot into safe mode and unfortunately it's unable to. So in this brief tutorial I'll be showing you how to hopefully resolve this issue for you guys who might be suffering from this very annoying issue. Now the way that we're going to do this is we're going to try and get into our troubleshooting utility which is built into Windows 10. So you don't actually need a CD or DVD to access this. All you need to do is just power off your machine do a hard power off three times in a row and it'll try and launch the Windows 10 automatic repair utility. So just be patient and let it start trying to load the utility once it's begun. And then once we're on the screen where it says your PC did not start correctly, and it'll say press restart to restart your PC which can sometimes fix the problem. You can also press advanced options to try other options to repair your PC. So you want to select advanced options and it should be the second button listed here. So underneath choose an option, select troubleshooting from the middle of the list here. Now they're underneath the troubleshooting window, left click on advanced options again. And now they're underneath advanced options, left click on the command prompt tile at the top right. Okay, so now we're going to try and find our Windows directory. And typically the drive letter will be D, but it might be different in your guys' case, but I'll show you where you can try it again if it didn't work the way that I'm showing it right now. So just doing what should work for most of you guys, the first way, we're going to just type in the letter D, lowercase d, and then colon, and then we're going to hit enter, and then we're going to type DIR. Okay, so now that we see that we have what appears to be Windows files here, that's a good sign. If you're not seeing this, that means your directory drive for Windows might be on a different drive letter. So you can try different letters. It doesn't really do any harm at this point. You can just type in a different letter like we did in, in the beginning for the first step until you find this page. Because once you're on here, this is a very good sign. Now you want to type in BCD edit, all one word, and then hit enter on your keyboard. Okay, so where we see that it says safe boot minimal, what we want to do is we want to change that back to default settings. This is where our issue is in this tutorial. So in order to do that, we're just going to type in bcd edit space forward slash delete value, another space, and then we're going to do a curly bracket here. We're going to type default, and then we're going to do an end closing bracket, and then another space, and then we're going to type safe boot. And then we're going to hit enter on our keyboard. So now we can see the operation was completed successfully. So at this point we can close out of the command prompt window. And we can continue and exit to Windows 10. And hopefully your issue has been resolved and you're able to get back into the normal Windows operating mode. So I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out. And I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.